Hello everybody and welcome to another Wheel of Monsters, the series where I take a random patron suggested monster and make a 3D printable mini. The winner this time is the Gibbering Mouther, which is a bizarre creature appearing as large blobs composed entirely of mouths and eyes. And when the eyes and mouths are closed, the Gibbering Mouther resembles a large lump of earth. Now after reading that last line, I decided to make some sort of rock formation like a stalagmite, something that you could use as random scatter within like a cave or something, and it's not only until your players get close to it will it reveal itself as a gibbering mouther. You know, just some options, and it's sort of similar to the theme that I'm going for with my Mimic project, so I thought, why not? Now initially when I started this project, I was thinking about making my own VTM brush, something like an eye that I could brush onto the model uh, all over the place, but I didn't really like how it was deforming and Instead of figuring it out or how to make it work, I just decided to, you know, go about it the old-fashioned way and just sculpt everything by hand. I started off by masking out where I wanted all the mouths to be, and then I would inflate these nodules where I wanted the eyes to be. And then I would add some tongues here and there. I would then add a separate subtool as spheres within the nodules to be the eyeballs. This is so that I could, you know, freely sculpt around and the eyelids and stuff like that without worrying about deforming the actual shape of the eye. And after this, it was just a matter of adding a bunch of details. Uh, I was trying to pay close attention to not making too many overhangs with this one. I really wanted to print it in sort of a vertical orientation. Because there are details all around the model, I didn't really want to have to lean it either way to put supports on it, so I really wanted to try and make it as little supports as possible, only from the bottom. Uh, so. You know, I did this by making sure that all the teeth were lined up in a nice orientation, and I also sort of backfilled a lot of the uh, uh, open mouths just so that they weren't too deep. You know, just for ease of printing. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, here's the final model, and as always, if you want to download the free STL, you can find it on Thingiverse or Printables. And if you want to support me and get access to pre-supported files and even contribute your own monsters to the wheel, then check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash printedencounter. And that's all for now. Uh, until next time, happy printing!